Good day, fellow investors. Today we're going to discuss how to create wealth in your lifetime. There are a few strategies. I have asked you yesterday the question of what is your age, what are your financial goals, and how do you intend to get there? So let's first dig into the responses because they are very, very different. And it's interesting how different approaches one is using to get to the similar investing goals. So age 24, being able to live off investing. However, the strategy there is short-term investing. So trading two to five days and beginning with a small amount. Of course, there is reading book, investing, learning to get as far as it is possible. Another similar goal, financial independence, net worth 1 million euros in this case from Europe, still young, 40% in real estate, 60% in resource sector juniors. I'll discuss that a little bit later. Again, 22, financial freedom through saving, investing, owning a business. That's an additional one to get there. Fully funded Roth IRA, Berkshire Hathaway, the largest investments, making Alibaba the largest investment. So going from stability to growth at age 22, again, possible. 26, want to be a billionaire? How this case, Ray Dalio principles. So still not sure, but of course, a billion is much more difficult than a million. Age 23, goals, remain debt free. There will be a video where I discuss debt and how that should be used, especially when you are young and 23. It might be a good idea to take a mortgage on that home, invest the remaining money. So really take advantage of that, especially when you are young. And then assuming that the money grows at 10% per year, which is possible, however, it really needs smart investing to analyze the risk reward possible. Another strategy completely different, target date retirement funds, so mostly index funds, and ETFs, cheap ETFs in Singapore, Russia, and really buying cheap value around the world in relation to the case. Good strategy, ETFs, I think it would be better to buy individual stocks on those markets because the ETFs is really going towards the largest capitalization stock, but it will do fine probably over a very, very long time. Then 24, start my own business. So that's an extremely important strategy. Perhaps that will lead to much more wealth than you can do with any kind of investment strategy. 23, 1 million by 25, 10 million by 30, 50 million by 35, 100 million by 40. If the Bitcoin, in this is case cryptocurrencies, if the Bitcoin continues and other cryptocurrencies continue to grow as they will, this is possible. So a lot of different strategies and I want to discuss three things that I have taken out from your comments. One is a growth strategy, investing in growth stocks, cryptocurrencies and things like that. The second is a stable strategy, investing in earnings and yield. And the third is, of course, starting your own business. So let's go into the strategies, see how those apply to the related age and figure out what would be the most intelligent way to go about creating wealth for the long term. Now, when you want to create wealth over the long term, then everybody is first attracted by growth. Everything that grows, you imagine that that growth will continue over a long time and that it will get you to your desired wealth extremely fast. However, growth usually stalls after a while because or the market gets saturated or there is too much competition trying to get a piece of the cake. So investing in growth should be always a part of everyone's portfolio. However, you should really understand the risk and the reward. Let's look at Apple. This is Apple's revenue over the last 10 years. It has grown four or five times, but in the last two or three years, it has stalled. Now, slow growth, then comes to normal valuation and Apple has currently a price to earnings ratio of 18.75. It was as low as 10 one and a half years ago. Now comparing Apple to Amazon that is growing at 28%, 34 in the last quarter per year, then of course Amazon has a much different valuation. But what you must know when you invest in growth and if you invest only in growth to build your wealth, is that as soon as that growth stalls or just falls, you can expect a huge drop in the stock price. It doesn't matter if Amazon will grow, continue to grow at 10, 15%, the stock price will drop hugely if the growth stops or slows down. And what many forget, especially the young ones that we have analyzed in our comments, is that there will be a recession. Those who are 26, probably never felt a recession because when the recession happened, they were at school. So it's very important to analyze how that growth, what's the risk of that growth? 
we have already made the video the delta of the delta on how to analyze growth stocks so take a look at that video the link is in the description below to see how to approach growth stocks and how much of your portfolio can be invested in growth stocks or cryptocurrencies of or whatever that has huge growth behind it what's very interesting and important is that if you are below 40 you can really risk it on the growth part because if you can take advantage of four or five more years of growth, you can really increase your portfolio. However, you have to really be smart that when you are at a good level, at a level when you are happy with what you have, to put it in something else, something more stable and much less risky. And that is my second strategy, a passive income strategy. And I have taken the example of Realty Income Corporation to show and see what does a passive income strategy mean? I know it's boring, but let's see what it delivered over the last 10 years. Now, this is the chart of Realty Income Corporation. It is a REIT. First, the price was at 25, then it dropped to 18 during the crisis, which is a much smaller stock than any other growth stock has experienced, and even the stock market, so much less risk there. And then the price of Realty Income Corporation went to 65 and now is around 55. So we can say that it doubled in the last 10 years. Doubling price is much less than what happened to Amazon where the stock price increased tenfold. However, that is Amazon. And one thing we must not forget is that Realty Income Corporation paid a dividend every month since 2008. The dividend was 13 cents per month in 2008 and it slowly grew to the current 21 cents per month. So over time, the approximate yield was 5%. When I made the back of a napkin calculation and constantly reinvested that yield over time, I get to a return from Realty Income Corporation of 400% over the last 10 years. So on one side you have Amazon that increased tenfold, huge growth. On the other side you have Realty Income Corporation that increased fourfold and is still paying a dividend and has been paying a dividend and gro a growing dividend for a very, very long time and the yield now is 5%. So there is much less risk than what happens with a stock like Amazon. And you are also protected by inflation and so on and so on, much less competition there. So there is growth stock, but don't forget about a passive income strategy that is also a growth strategy, just a little bit smaller, but safer. So when analyzing where you want to go, it's very important to discuss the risks. If you are betting on Amazon, Alibaba and other growth stocks, it is important to know that you can lose 70-80% of what you invest there. And that is something you have to apply to your financial life cycle investment strategy. Because losing 70-80% of what you have is a huge downturn. And if you lose 70%, it takes you five years at 25% growth to just regain your investment which is huge. So really be careful. And that the most important thing here is your financial position and your financial goals. The worst thing one can make is bet on something and then risk everything if, if it doesn't happen. Because one is having 1 million of when you are 40, 50 and you can retire. But the other thing is, okay, I can maybe get to 2 million, but I can be at 100,000. The difference is a good here is a good life, a great life and a miserable life. So you have to see which life is for you, a great, a certainly good life or the risk great miserable life. So that's something very, very important when investing. The third thing, of course, everybody who wants to make a lot of money during a long time and really build on that should better start a business than investing. I'm also, that's my strategy. I first had a strategy to create passive income from my investments. Then when I reached that, I saw it's too limiting because I am not allowed to risk anything and my income is slowly, slowly growing and, and it doesn't allow me to grow in life as a person. So I switched from that strategy, used a lot of money from that strategy to grow as a person, invest in myself, invest in a few businesses that hopefully will grow in the future and will allow me even higher passive income in the future. So I went from a passive income strategy which worked well for the past 20 years towards a business creating strategy. So, so I have been in one side and on the other side. I have never really invested in growth stocks 
but I really might look at them in the next crisis when they fall a lot. And another thing I want to conclude with is really look at the sustainability of your investment strategy. Those who day trade, that's a good strategy if you know what you're doing, but in two years, three years, you might get a job, your situation might change, everything might change. And then you have to always have a backup because trading is exhausting. You cannot trade all the time if you're not a machine. So cryptocurrencies also, good strategy. It has worked extremely well in the past 12 months, but really understand also the risks and adjust accordingly. If you are young, you can lose everything. You can rebuild it easily. So that's a very good strategy for young people and something that they can apply. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Looking forward to your comments on these strategies. Which one of the three would you like? Business, creating passive income over the long time or looking for growth to quickly get to where you want to get. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.